Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to this gorgeous morning. I mean, it's beautiful. It's not really even that cold. The weather's beautiful. I mean, look, it's flat, calm out there. There's no wind, and it bodes well for the coming days in sport fishing. We've got so much to cover with you this morning. We're going to talk a little bit about Cedros Island. We'll talk about Cabo San Lucas Long Range, and we've got a lot more about the local situation, including some nice big halibut caught out of 22nd Street landing yesterday. You know what time it is, everybody. Good morning. It's time for the morning briefing. Mmm, so good. Oh my God, that is nice and hot. Love my coffee in the morning. I love to have it more than anything with each and every one of you. All right, let's get started. And before I go one step farther, I want to wish somebody a happy birthday. Somebody who's very important to me. Somebody that really makes the Friedman family go. And that is none other than Grace Martinez. Grace, I know you're watching this morning. Thank you so much for all your great support. You get up before your husband Joe and watch us every single day. And then when Joe gets up, you go running to him and say, man, it's a great show today. Or, man, he really sucks today or whatever. But your support is so deeply appreciated. And Grace, I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day today. Have some fun with Joe. It should be a lovely time to go ahead and have a nice dinner because you deserve it. Happy birthday, Grace. All right, everybody, let's get into it. We'll start with the long range and just tell you that there's nice yellowfin tuna being caught, you know, 50-pound stuff up to almost 200 pounds, some bigger than that. It's pretty steady on the bigger bluefin or bigger yellowfin tuna with those big sickles for the long range boys right now. Several boats are in on it, Intrepid, Independence, Red Rooster 3, and they're all getting a good shot of that. And then every once in a while, a nice little pop on the hoo. The skins are biting, not wide open, but there's some wahoo to be taken. So pretty good on the long range scene down there, you know, on those 10 day type trips right now. Down in Cabo San Lucas, as we've been telling you, Sean Morgan has pointed out the striped marlin bite is off right now. And there's a little bit of dorado, but not all that much. But I gotta tell you, my friend Marcus Fain went down there and had an absolute ball. Marcus, of course, is a good friend of the show and the part of the Freeman Adventures family. And he went down there with his lovely wife and caught a bucket fish of his. And that was this rooster fish. Nice going, Marcus. And it looks like you and your wife had a spectacular time down in Cabo San Lucas. I mean, how can you beat the ambience of that place? It is the natural beauty of Cabo San Lucas is incredible. Sean Morgan is up just a little bit to the north of them, San Jose del Cabo. Sean's the guy who's been telling us about the marlin bite being a lot slower right now. We'll continue to monitor it and watch it with him very, very closely. Hopefully, that's gonna get going again. If you wanna go fishing with Sean, there's his information. You can jump on a trip with him. Cedros Island, uh, there's still yellows around there, but they've been focusing a lot of their attention on some awfully big halibut. The halibut bite there has been good, and we're talking big, great flatfish. There has been some really big fish, so nice fishing going on for those boys. Get you up to the San Quentin area, and around there, of course, the boys go out to San Martin Island sometimes, or fish coastal high spots, catching yellows on the yo-yo iron down there, as well as copious amounts of rockfish. That bite going very, very good. In Sanada, our friends from Black Bend Sport Fishing out there on Punabanda, Victor and his wife and Junior and all the people that make that place so great. Got to spend some time with them down in Ensenada here recently. They've got trips this weekend, so if you're one of the lucky folks that are going and heading out with them, you're going to want to focus on bottom fish. And I'll tell you right now, you're going to be catching some nice whitefish, some sheep's head, some other bottom grabbers for millions, lingcod. It's all been very good. Victor, I was with him, and when he fishes lings, he's all business, and he's bouncing an iron off the bottom. So you can go that way. You can go with a big swim bait. There's so many different ways to catch probably the best eating fish in the sea. So keep that in mind and you should be in really good shape. Now, I uh, skipped over, of course, Punta Colinet. Colinet is loaded, located 120 miles down the Baja coast. And one of the best ways to get there is to jump on one of the San Diego based boats. That fleet in San Diego, I, I just, you know, I'm so amazed at how professional 
how great they are. One of those boats is the Pegasus, and they are going to be taking off on Friday at 6 p.m., back in Sunday at 6 a.m. You can put on one heck of a fish taco feast that afternoon for all your friends because you are guaranteed to catch lots of nice bottom grabbers down there, you know, big lings and sheep's head and whitefish bite. There's some whitefish spots down there that Joe Chait, I don't know, what, 30, 40 years ago? God almighty, I'm dating myself. I remember one time Joe took us and got us on that on board the Pegasus and man, I know you're looking at me thinking whitefish, come on. Those little devils fight hard, man. When you're catching them two at a time and they're like seven, eight pounders, that was a memorable bite, no question about it. And you should be able to catch some of that fish. Vermilions, just really top quality fish. And while it hasn't happened yet, I'm thinking that yellow bite down there is going to manifest itself one of these days real, real soon. There's been Hurrell, Yellowtail up or down there around San Martin Island and along the coastal regions. Yo-yo iron, no lighter than 50 pounds. I prefer the 60 pound and uh, I don't think it's going to be much longer till the San Diego fleet that's fishing the Colonnade area gets on those fish. So. Several boats headed down that way. One of them is the Pegasus. I highly recommend you grab one of those last few spots on there. All right, locally, yesterday I was getting ready for the Danny Cadota show at 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, getting the studio ready because we had a special guest, Pete Demers, who was with the LA Kings for 34 years as their trainer. He's such a great guy. He's in five, five different, um, not all-stars, but... Uh, well, I'll figure it out later. He's been recognized as one of the greatest, let's put it that way, in five different categories. Hall of Fames. My brain was slipping up here early this morning. He's a great guy, down to earth. He can talk travel. He can talk fishing, and he did last night. I highly recommend you take a look. But I heard a bunch of commotion going on outside, and I went out there, and I see the guys from the Freedom and the Pursuit. And they're holding up these big flatties, man. They had these big old halibut. And it was really great to see that. So I went out and said, hey, where'd you catch those? And they promptly told me, none of your business. But take a look, some nice halibut. Really good fishing for those guys. They were on a private boat, and it looked really, really good for them. So nice little pop for them. Most of the other boats right now are fishing, you know, sand bass, calico bass. They're getting a few here and there, not all that many but they're able to pick, you know, fish per rod or below that. And I'm talking about from San Diego all the way up to Marina del Rey. That bite has been pretty darn good on the sand bass, calico bass. And of course, they're able to fill in with some great eating sculpin and whitefish. Season is still open on that. Remember, the season is closed on rockfish until about, uh, not about, until April the 1st in Southern California. So for now, you're gonna have to jump on a boat out of San Diego and go across the border. And you're able to do that on those colonnet trips as well as like an extended half day trip on the premier. They're running those trips right now, Monday through Friday. And they pop across the border, catch rockfish and bring you back home. So that's the alternative available to you along the beaches. This is a perfect surf fishing day and I'm crazy if I don't get the morning briefing on the air and take some time to find out if this stuff wants to bite a little bit, dig up some sandworms, catch some barred perch, throw a little chrome crocodile, like three quarter ounce, maybe catch a halibut or a yellowfin croaker. All of that is a possibility. Wintertime surf fishing lends itself better to bait most of the time, but you can catch some, you know, nice yellowfin croaker. In fact, a few years ago, it was on St. Patrick's Day, I caught a yellowfin croaker that was just shy, almost looked like it was 22 inches long. And I've got to tell you, that is one of the biggest yellowfin croaker ever taken here. Now, a lot of guys will say, hey, I've caught one bigger, but I'm talking about in the record books. Fred Oakley, a guy I used to fish with, has that record, and his fish was about as long as the one that I caught. So, I feel like a champion here this morning. Beautiful gorgeous day. I don't know if you've seen anything behind me. I, oh, I should tell you, put a comment in, on our YouTube channel if you saw a dolphin or a sea lion giving me the fin or maybe a gray whale going by. One of these days, that's going to happen. Go back and watch that Danny Cadota show with Pete Demers from last night. You're going to love it if you're a hockey fan. You're going to love it if you're a sport fishing fan. You're going to love it. Pete is such a gentleman and a great guy. 
and you are going to enjoy how Danny put on another stellar show. No question about it. All right, I can see a friend of mine, Lupe, standing right over here. She wants to show me some whale watch photos. So I'm going to go say hi to her. She comes by here every morning and we get to say hello to one another. So I'll give you all my very best. Grace, one more time. Happy birthday. Have a wonderful birthday. Thanks for all your support. Give that like button a smash right now. Don't forget to subscribe to Friedman Adventures. Tick that bell. You'll be notified when there's new content and share these videos if you like them. What can I say? Have a great morning. It's beautiful. I hope you get out on the water this weekend. Take care and I hope to see you really, really soon. This is not a translator. I'm gonna let her introduce herself to you. I'm Desiree. Oh my God. Holy shit. You know, this is Desiree, I'm so happy. Oh my God, Phil, how the I'm hell so, did you do I'm this? So oh, oh, yeah. Look at that, man. The big calico bass come out to play around Puna Banda, Baja California, Norte near Ensenada, Fishing with Diego Nuno and Costa Baja Sport Fishing. These small round stingrays can inflict an immense amount of pain. The best thing you can do is to soak the wound in warm water. Do you have a suggestion? Put a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you.